Hello everyone. At the end of this video, you should be able to show understanding that thermal energy is transferred from a region of higher temperature to a region of lower temperature. Temperature refers to how hot or cold an object is, and it can be measured using a thermometer. When the temperature of an object increases, the amount of thermal energy it has also increases. In other words, a hotter object would have larger amount of thermal energy. Conversely, when the temperature of that object decreases, the amount of thermal energy it has will also decrease. Note that throughout this slide, I didn't use the word heat because heat and thermal energy are two different things. Warning, it is wrong to say that a hotter object has more heat. Please take note. Here comes the key concept for this video. Thermal energy is transferred from a region of higher temperature to a region of lower temperature. From a hotter object to a cooler object. For example, object A is hotter than object B because object A is at 100 degrees Celsius while object B is at 30 degrees Celsius. Hence, there will be a net flow of thermal energy from object A to object B. As a result, object A will lose thermal energy while object B will gain thermal energy from object A. Hence, the temperature of object A decreases and the temperature of object B increases. The net flow of thermal energy from object A to object B will stop when both of them reach the same temperature, which in this case is 70 degrees Celsius. When object A and object B are of the same temperature, we say they are in thermal equilibrium. Before we move on to the next video, please look at the learning objective again and ask yourself whether you have achieved it. In the next few videos, you'll learn the different processes through which thermal energy may be transferred from the hotter object to the cooler object. See you in the next video.